Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I have a review video and a giveaway, so stay tuned to the end of the video, I'll have all the giveaway details for you. Um, but I wanted to show you some products that were sent to me from Soho Publishing Company. Um, they are the company that publishes these Bible journaling books. They reached out, asked if I'd be interested in reviewing some of their Bible journaling books, and they would send me some extras to do a giveaway with. So I said yes. Um, I wasn't really familiar with what they publish or what they had um, but I didn't realize that they published this. This is The Art of Bible Journaling by Aaron Bassett. Uh, a lot of us saw this at all the uh, CHA and the CHA videos, um, Creativation, if you watched that. So I was super excited about this one. And so we'll save that one for last because I'm going to have something special for that one. But um, these four here are Renewing Faith with Art. And they are Bible journaling books. And each one is a different artist slash author. <clears throat> Um, and so each style is a little bit different. So you may not need all four. You may want all four because the styles are very different. If you are somebody who teaches classes, I think these would be amazing to have in your class kits. Um, if you're teaching Bible journaling workshops and that kind of thing, um, just to give people an idea of the different styles that are out there. And they also have some fun goodies inside that they can use. So let's dive in. Um, the first one is Celebrating God's Promises by Krista Hamrick. And so these are really neat. They're some pretty small little books, but they are jam-packed with all kinds of goodness. So the front few pages are the same in each of the books, just some different colors and artwork. But um, it's going to tell you what you get inside the book. And then to begin, it gives you kind of you know, how to begin Bible journaling. And I love that the very first point is ask for the Lord's guidance. That should always be our first thing. Um, Bible journaling is fun. It's beautiful. It's messy. It's creative. But really, it's about your connection with God. And so praying, having that time with God before you even jump into Bible journaling or art journaling or faith art journaling, whatever you do, um, is so important. So I like that they do that. They also have this elements of art page. And this is great if you're somebody who is not an art major like me. I never took a day of art in my life. <laughs> Um, and it just gives you some basic information about line, shape, space, texture, uh, form, and color. Really simple, but just kind of gives you a little bit of art knowledge in the book, which I appreciate um, learning something as well as seeing all the beautiful artwork. So you also get um, this palettes page. Each um, book is a little bit different in the artwork, but the colors are the same. And so this is kind of fun. If you're somebody who is wanting um, to use color theme throughout your Bible to identify certain themes in the Bible. This is a great little template for you. Um, purples are for hope, reds for joy, yellows for optimism, blues for tranquility. Um, I don't do that in my journaling, but for some of you that may be extremely helpful for your studying. Um, I know a lot of people do verse mapping with highlighting and underlining and circling and all that. Um, and so this might be another way to do that. You also get a little um, bio on uh, Krista, and so you get some information about her, get to see her face. I always love that because we get to see each other's artwork and our hands and things like that, but we don't get to see each other's faces. So it's kind of nice to put a face with the artwork. Um, and then there's several pages filled with these gals' artwork. Um, and it's so funny because a lot of these I have seen on Pinterest, so they must be pretty popular. They're getting spread around on Pinterest, so you might recognize some of the artwork. Um, and and so you get kind of a close-up video or close-up shots of just a few entries that she's done. How gorgeous is this? It looks like lots of colored pencil. So if you're somebody who doesn't want to mess with paint and all that nonsense, then this is good for you. Um, and then just a little bit of an explanation about um, the page itself. So lots and lots of examples of her artwork. And then we get to dive into the interactive portion of the book. So. She has taken her artwork, Krista's artwork, and it's on this thicker paper. It is perforated, so you can tear these out. And so these can either be um, cut and colored and stuck into your Bible or traced into your Bible. So there's full margin pieces, little smaller pieces, and there are just pages and pages and pages of all this goodness that you can either trace, copy, or paste into your Bible. So tons and tons of, and just a variety of um, artwork and lettering and things like that. You've got some examples of fonts that you can either trace or use this as a template, you know, make copies of it and practice drawing this out on your own. If you're somebody who's wanting to improve your hand lettering skills, um, this would be a good one to practice with. 
And then this is super fun. So there's several pages. Let me grab some cardstock maybe. Okay, so you get several vellum pages. So again, these are perforated so you can tear them out and you can either use these to trace or adhere directly into your Bible. Now vellum, um, you wanna be careful to not use super wet mediums on, so like paints, you wanna use super dry paint, not a lot of water. Um, and for glue, I either like to run um, vellum pieces through a Xyron sticker maker and that adheres adhesive completely to the entire backside of an element or use something like a spray glue or something like that. It's gonna give you the best um, results when attaching vellum into your Bible, but you have all these really fun, delicate pieces that you can include in your journaling. And I mean, there is no shortage of items in this book. There's tons. And then you get um, a bunch of stickers. I love all these butterflies and banners, bigger pieces, smaller pieces. The butterflies are just beautiful. So tons of those. This does look like you get doubles. So this is the same sheet. Um, you get a few tabs and then you've got a piece that you can use like as the um, nameplate in the front of your Bible if you wanted. This kind of area here, this Bible belongs to. Um, you could use one of these to kind of jazz that up. And then you've got some faux washi strips and they've got this really pretty kind of like stained glass look to them. And then here are just some quotes from people on the topic of the book. So each book kind of has a different theme. Um, this one is celebrating God's promises. So there's some quotes um, from people um, regarding that. And so there's a look at Krista's book. And like I said, each one is different. So this is Everlasting Hope by Carla Dornicher. Um, she has a very like folk artsy um, look to her artwork. So again, the same intro, same information, but the artwork is different. You get that color palette template there. Lots of sirens going on outside. Um, you get a look at Carla, a little bio about her. And then you get to dive in and look at some of her artwork. Hers, I know I've seen on Pinterest. Again, she does a lot of um, Prismacolor color pencils. Looks like a little bit of watercolor. Bright, beautiful. She does a lot of like doodling. And then these girls. She's got a lot of these little girls. So you've got these pieces again that you can um, cut out or trace. You got some fonts to play with. These are really fun to trace or practice drawing these little pieces to kind of frame in, let me see, frame in your journaling. So I'm trying to find an example of hers, but she uses them kind of to frame in her margin. So we've got that, some margin pieces. So you can see her style is very different from Krista's. Birdhouses and birds, butterflies, florals, teacups, another font for you to play with, and then we get to dive into her vellum pieces. So same thing, she's got some margin pieces and then some smaller pieces, depending on what you wanna use. And you can see, you could actually fill an entire Bible with the artwork from these books. I mean, if you're somebody who really is inspired and wants to join in with Bible journaling, but feel a little insecure about your art, and your ability to draw or you're just not happy with it, this might be a good way to start out. So um, using something like this to get color and get um, images down in the margin of your Bible um, without stressing about it. So she's got tons of stickers. I love her color palette of this like aqua and pink and yellows. Again with her girls and birds and florals. Butterflies, so her butterflies are much more whimsical than Krista's. You get faux washi and then some tabs here. And then again, some quotes and thoughts about hope. So there is a look at uh, Carla's book. All right, next up we have Trusting in God and this is Anita Haynes. And so again, similar Thing in the front here. I think she is my favorite of the four. Her style is right up my alley. <laughs> so you get the color palette, you get the little bio, and a picture of Anita there. 
and then you get a dive into her artwork. So um, lots of florals, which you all know is my jam totally. <laughs> she has this gorgeous art, which is totally not me. I cannot do art like that, but um, is ways that I can get that in my Bible with this book. So um, watercolor, that's my jam. And so she's got these big, bold feathers and arrows, which I love, birds and florals. So again, you can trace these or cut these out. Arrows and feathers, cactus, birds. It's like everything that speaks to my heart. <laughs> big banners. I love the little cactus in terrariums and things like that. Hearts and birds and banners. Look at how cute these are. Um, a fun font for you to play around with. Another fun font for you to play around with. And little floral bunches. So she's got several different fonts that you can trace or copy or you know explore around with. And then her vellum pieces. So of course some that will fit in the margins and then some just smaller pieces that you can use. I love this beauty for ashes. Um, an experiment with coloring, you could use like Copic markers on the back side of this. So if you're somebody who has, you know, Copic markers from card making and that kind of thing, Copic markers don't play well in our Bible because they're an alcohol marker or like a Sharpie marker, but you can color on vellum with alcohol markers. So play around with that. I love the sheltered under his wings and of course the little cactus. How cute is that? Her little teepees, let me dwell in your tent forever. Ugh. I am just obsessed, obsessed with her style. It's so cute. Love this wood grain heart. All right, and then you've got your stickers. And again, her color palette is my jam. You've got that mints and aquas and pinks and yellow. Um, and so similar pieces that we've seen throughout her book here. You've got tabs and the tabs in the books that have tabs are just Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So they are just the gospel tabs. It isn't a full set of tabs. You've got two different pieces you could use as name plates. This Holy Bible belongs to, or this sword of God belongs to. I like that. Um, rest in him, my peace I give to you, be still. Her washi strips. Ugh, can we just, really? How cute is that and all the tribal patterns um, and then you've got quotes thoughts about trusting god you've got charles spurgeon charles stanley um, so there's several that we may be familiar with there so there's a look at anita's book and then we have sue chemnitz honoring the spirit i think we've also seen her artwork probably on pinterest or in the in the facebook groups so same jam going on in the front here and then her color palette, and then a look at Sue and her bio. Sue is much more like a mixed media feel. Um, lots of watercolor and paint. Um, I love that. And then she's got lots of animals in her book here. So fish, and I think these are anteaters or aardvarks, <laughs> giraffes. She's much more sketchy and loose of this wing. Big bold words, little pieces here. She's got some word fetty that you could cut out. And again, I would probably cut those out and run them through a Zyron sticker maker and make them into stickers and use them that way. You could color these. This is a thick enough cardstock. You could use watercolor with a very small amount of water um, or markers and color these if you wanted to. She's got some fonts to play with here this one here. This is Sophia. This is actually a font that I've purchased on my computer that I use quite a bit in my um, digital art and things like that. So super cute. And then you've got her vellum pieces. I know it's a little bit longer of a video, but I figured you guys might appreciate seeing what's in these books before you order or whatever so you know kind of what to expect and maybe what style is one that you are more drawn to. So like I said, hers is more mixed media. So she has some of these like mixed media backgrounds where you can see like the bubble wrap stamping and um, different paints blended and things like that. So um, different than the other gals there. I love the purples. 
and she's got some different um, shaped. These would be good for layering behind other pieces um, and using them that way. I love this big piece right here. Um, some tabs. Her tabs are grace, trust, kindness, and then these could probably be folded and made into tabs. Love, praise, rejoice, faith, joy, peace. So she's got several different elements in hers. And then her faux washi, again with that kind of mixed media look in the background. And then thoughts about the spirit quotes in the back there. So there's a look at those four. So these are the four that I will be giving away. And to enter the giveaway, you need to leave a comment down below this video um, telling me which artist you are most drawn to or which book that you are most drawn to. Um, I will have close up pictures of each one on my blog if you want to go check those out. And um, the giveaway is gonna run until April 23rd um, will be the cutoff date and then I'll announce the winner later on that week so stay tuned for that but definitely be sure you want to like this video subscribe to my channel and comment and that's how you'll get an entry into the giveaway and I will draw a name um, it'll be four different winners so four people can win so you will get one of these books random um, I may try to pair it up with who you said that you liked um, but if I've got doubles then I'll have to split it up but um, so there will be four winners. It is U.S. only because I have to pay for shipping. Sorry guys, shipping out of the U.S. is crazy um, and that's just kind of how it works. So for this giveaway will be U.S. only. So it'll be for those four books. This one here I'm saving for my big giveaway. I know I keep saying that. I hit 10,000 subscribers recently and I'm kind of slowly um, pulling some things together. It is taking a little bit of time. Sorry about that, but I want to make sure I have plenty of goodies and it may be like two separate bundles of things that I'm giving away. So I'm saving this one for that giveaway. But this is The Art of Bible Journaling by Aaron Bassett. If you are somebody who is new to Bible journaling or a veteran to Bible journaling, this book is amazing either way. It is so gorgeous and so well done. Um, if you get this book, you don't need to watch my videos. <laughs> she covers everything. A lot of techniques that I thought that I was the only one doing or hadn't really seen anybody else do or I'd shown she covers in here so she goes from basic things um, like lettering and supplies even like choosing a journaling Bible and the different types of Bibles and what goes into choosing one, um, the pens and basic supplies that you need. And then she goes into a little bit of page prep and as she's going through here um, things that bleed and don't bleed and you know all kinds of fun fun things tabs creating word art tips for that and then some templates of things that you can kind of try out and sample and play with um, doodling but then she'll go into um, actual like creating Bible pages so towards the front they're a little bit easier so creating with stickers and it is step by step um, photo tutorial on how to do it with descriptions and then tips along the way and then um, she kind of goes in from there so there's even you know covering up the text versus not covering up the text using acrylic paints um, so you can kind of see as you go through the book it gets you know builds up into more and more complicated um, type things here so creating word art, super, super fun. So there are lots and lots and lots of tutorials, fearless acrylic painting. So if you're somebody who is wanting to use acrylic paints in your Bible, but you were afraid or not getting good results, she's got tips, tricks, techniques, and how to's in here for that. Um, I mean, printing, even printing on deli paper and tips for that. I mean, she has covered, it's amazing, amazing. And so things like this, um, like tip-ins and things like that. She has some goodies in the back, which I'll show you here in a minute. But, um, I mean, gosh, guys, faith booking. So bringing, if you're a scrapbook girl and want to Bible journal and want to combine the two, which I do a little bit, um, bringing, you know, photos and things like that into your Bible and um, memory documenting in your Bible, which I think is a beautiful thing to do. I think, you know, praying for your family or things like that. It's great to have it all in one place like that. So there's tips for that. Um, fun mixed media things. I mean, she just, look at how gorgeous this is. Um, pressing, you know, dried flowers into your Bible. Uh, so beautiful. I really want to try and do this technique because it is just gorgeous. 
rub on transfers and then you've got you know your index and your resources so companies that she's mentioned is back there um and then here is all the bonus so templates stickers and things like that so if it's a technique that she did where she's got needed a template or something like that she includes that back here so you could copy this page and then cut it out of cardstock or sticker paper or whatever um you've got that big envelope piece so this would be another one that's great for classes. Um, you know, if they're wanting to know about different techniques and let them flip through the book, um, you know, you've got that. So you've got some of the elements that she used in her Bible pages, and then she even has the page number to go to where to use that element. So that's all included in there. Plenty of different things that you can do in the margins. And then she's even got this piece of like vellum, or deli paint, I think it's vellum, um, that she's created some mixed media art on, so you could use this for one of those mixed media techniques. And if you're kind of nervous about playing with paints in that way, she's got that. She's a full set of Bible tabs back here. Um, they are just cardstock, they're not, I don't think they're stickers. I lied, they're stickers. <laughs> so they're stickers, um, and so it is complete Old Testament and New Testament, so if you're wanting tabs for your Bible, you've got that. Um, you've got some word fetty back here. You've got that big bold seek word, which was one of the ones in her um, examples that she painted over. So you've got that template. Um, these back here are cardstock, so cardstock tabs and you know different icons and things like that. And then she's even got a ruler and some stencils. I mean, this girl has thought of everything. So this book is super amazing. Um, if you have not grabbed it already, grab it. Um, I have gone through many Bible journaling books that I've picked up and they're good, but they're pretty basic. This goes from basic to advanced. I love, love, love it. So definitely grab this one. Like I said, I'll be setting this one aside for another giveaway because I, I did get two sets of these. Um, and so that will be in a later giveaway, but make sure that you enter the giveaway for these four books. Uh, again, leaving a comment, let me know which artist you are most interested in um, or which book um, you're kind of drawn to. Give this video a thumbs up if you like these types of videos with reviews of products that are out there. Um, I like to kind of show you what's out there and, you know, give you a little sneak peek into things. And subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.